There are a number of ways you can measure area in a GK Plus design. Here's a design from the US and I've drawn a rectangle here in magenta and it's 10 foot wide by 10 foot high. That makes the mathematics quite easy, doesn't it? We could use the tools and area command and we could snap to one end of the rectangle, snap to the other, that gives us a our 10, then snap to the next. See how the yellow line comes out behind you? And we've completed the area is now 100 square feet. If you select the magenta line, that value of 100 shows in the properties box. You can also, let me move this away, so that's using tools and area itself those yellow lines and that value are not part of the drawing and you might want to stamp the value of area in a drawing and that's done by tools measure the area of a closed polyline it has to be a closed polyline and label so we'll pick that and then pick the a closed boundary line the prompt says select closed boundary line which to mark the area value so we'll pick it and we're asked to respond this drawing happens to be in decimal feet as its base and where are we going to put that mark about here and indicate a height and there 100 square feet so we could draw a line or indeed a leader we could use a leader from arrow head position from here up to say that point and we can leave that just just blank whoops try that again leader from here up to here yeah it wants us to put the string in doesn't it so we would have been better off we can type in 100 feet square there is a way to make that um, label that's appropriate but we'll skip for the moment so that's using the leader to label the area we would in this case if we're using that stamp we'd do that so we can get rid of the leader so 100 square feet indicates it so if we look at some other examples here the area of lawn if we pick it its area will be here one two three one 1,231 square feet and where's another area we can look at uh, the driveway is also a polyline so it will report the area although maybe the boundary line here area is not as accurately placed as we would want but that gives us an area of 871 square feet so whether you're working in decimal feet or millimeters you can get an area value in that way.